Gentleman from California, Mr. McNerney, seek recognition. Mr. Chairman, I have a uh, block of amendments at the desk. The clerk would designate the amendments. Amendments number 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, printed in House Report number 114-683, offered by Mr. McNerney of California. Pursuant to House Resolution 820, the gentleman from California, Ms. McNerney, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm submitting an amendment to strike provisions from uh, Mr. Valadeo's bill, H.R. 2898, that were included as riders in this year's Interior EPA Appropriations Bill. I'm disappointed uh, that my Republican colleagues continue to adapt, attach bad policy on important appropriations bills. And in this case, they've attached the same damaging riders to the Interior Appropriation Bill that would drain the California Delta with overpumping. These provisions would ravage the ecology of the Delta, destroy local fish, wildlife, and harm communities we serve. They would undermine 40 years of progress in protecting our land and resources. They override environmental protection for California's rivers, fisheries, threatening thousands of fishing jobs, and weaken the Endangered Species Act. Fish will go extinct, but my Republican colleagues claim that this bill will not harm fish. These sections violate existing biological opinions protecting salmon and other endangered fish, which would impact the salmon industry across the entire Pacific coast. These riders do nothing to prepare our communities for droughts in the future. These are droughts we know are coming. They misstate California water law and encourage further regional divides in the West when we need to work together to bridge those differences. H.R. 2898 has been opposed by the state and key stakeholders, including commercial and sport fishermen, Native American tribes, environmental groups, and recreational employers. And the Obama administration has already threatened to veto it. But my Republican colleagues keep claiming that water is being wasted. Hydrological conditions have played a primary role in water deliveries since the start since the start of California's drought. In 2014, water year was the third driest in California's recorded history, and some experts conclude that the current drought may be the state's most severe in 1,200 years. Currently, 100% of the state is, exter is experiencing sub some level of drought, and more than 40% is experiencing exceptional drought, the most severe drought classification according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. The Department of Interior estimates that the Endangered Species Act accounted for a mere 2% of the water supply reduction in the Central Valley Project water deliveries in 2014, and current estimates suggest a similarly small impact in 2015. California's State Water Resources Control Board estimated that in 2015, only 2% of this water flowed out to the ocean solely for environmental protection. The water that Donald Trump said was being shoved out to sea was actually used to prevent saltwater intrusion that would permanently damage some of the most valuable farmland in the world. Water being released for salinity control protects Central Valley farms from being contaminated. California and federal officials have been able to increase exports from the California Delta using existing authority. This action has helped maximize the use of what little water exists in the state. A lack of water is our biggest threat, not operational flexibility. And my colleagues still wonder where some of that water went. Well, according to the Bay Institute, earlier this year, approximately two-thirds of storm runoff was captured or diverted with only one third of the runoff making it through the Delta estuary. And from the period of October 1st last year to January 31st, 60% of storm water was diverted or stored. Water scarcity in California is caused by longstanding and severe drought and the slow pace of investment in efficiency, water recycling, and other supplies. And many senior water right holders have received 100% of their allocation this year. 
According to state law, they're supposed to get that amount. And the other junior water right holders got much less, but that's what it means to be a junior rights water holder. You don't get as much water in a drought. California has the right to stop seawater intrusion, protecting water quality from our communities and farms, and distribute allocations according to their water rights system. And even the junior water rights holders have proven their resiliency. In fact, the National Agricultural Statistics Service pro projects a record, a record almond crop in California this year. The orchards will yield an estimated 2.5 billion pounds, up from an even 2 million pounds a year before. It would eclipse even the record. I'm deeply disappointed this bill has been included in this year's interior appropriations, and I hope my amendment passes to strike out these harmful provisions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I reserve the balance of my time if I have any. The gentleman's time has expired.